Hi everyone, welcome back to the channel. Welcome to Angela333. We're going to do um, a collective reading. So we're just going to see what the energy is here for all of you. This is for all signs. Just going to pick up whatever the energy shows us here in love. So let's see who you're connecting with, what the energy is here for you. So let's pull some cards. Thank you, Spirit. Please show here. What do we need to know? What does collective need to know? All right, I got some cards here. All right. Oh boy, okay. Right off the bat here, look at that. We have storm warning, all right. There is someone here, look at this, an old flame, okay? It's an ex-lover, an old flame, somebody from the past, somebody you've made memories with. Ah, uh, someone's coming towards you. We got a proposal. Somebody um, who, hmm, they want the romantic opportunity with you. I'm not too sure that's what you want here. We do have uh, intuition. So you got intuition, you have breakup, and you have divine timing. Okay, so really what this is showing me here is that there's been some time since you've heard from this person. That could be the storm warning. There could have been some sort of drama or something that happened between the two of you, and it may be that you're not expecting to hear from this person. It can also be that energy of like out of the blue. You hear from this person out of the blue. You're not expecting to hear from this person. Um, I feel like, yeah, there's something your intuition is going to tell you about this person when you hear from this person. So don't shoot the messenger, okay? This is, I mean, right loud and clear. Those are the cards that came out that you're going to hear from somebody, an ex here. Well, let's see what else the energy shows here for you. All right, we already got some cards popping out here. Okay, let's start with that. Yeah, I feel like this is someone that it was a heartbreaking situation or this could be somebody who broke your heart there with the three of swords. Oh boy, wow. Okay, yeah. We have uh, the five of swords and we also have here the ten of wands. I feel like this is somebody that, um, this is someone who probably didn't consider your feelings. This is somebody I feel that in the past there may have been a third party situation. This is my third party card. Somebody I feel here um, that... Um, you know, they were all about themselves here with this five of swords. It also feels like this is somebody that um, is struggling. Okay, somebody I feel that there was some sort of conflict argument uh, situation that this person I feel has not been able to let it go. Okay, that hence that's probably why this person is coming back into your life. Now, now I'm going to say here for some of you take the roles how they resonate. This could also be somebody that you've had a hard time, right? Letting go of a situation is what I'm feeling here. But I feel like this is someone who is coming towards you because we also have here the Magician and we also have here the Ten of Pentacles. Now, I don't want to say anything before I pull some more cards because I do sense here, right, this could be a situation where maybe you're going to release this person. You're releasing somebody here that caused a little a lot of pain in your life and now you're manifesting something more long lasting that can be this energy here and this could also be a new love offer so i'm not too sure okay it did, did feel like you're going to hear from an ex some of you i feel are going to but others this can also talk about a new person coming into your life so it's whatever you're manifesting but i'm going to pull some more cards okay and see what else comes out all right we have the full card we got the Ace of Pentacles. We got the uh, Nine of Pentacles. And we have the Queen of Cups. And we got the Eight of Pentacles. All right. What I'm truly picking up here is I feel like this is more so of you letting go of an X energy. All right. I feel like something happened in this connection. Okay. It's almost that energy. You didn't see it coming. Um, I feel like there could have been a third party situation involved here. And I feel like a lot of you, I'm going to say your gut feeling may be telling you, right, it's time to move on. I'm taking that risk, that leap of faith. 
I'm releasing a burden from the past, something that felt very heavy, no matter what I did, it just didn't work. It's like I was forcing something and it just wasn't coming together. I feel like that's what spirit is saying here, okay? other Rather than an ex returning here, now it is quite possible. We'll see as the energy goes along. But I feel like you're letting go of something and I feel like the universe is bringing a bigger opportunity. Because I see the magician and I see here uh, the nine of pentacles. I see a very independent energy. I feel like a lot of you are maybe feeling, you know what, maybe I'm better here, letting this go, letting go of a situation that just caused me a lot of hurt, a lot of pain here. And look, I see a relationship here, 10 of Pentacles and the Queen of Cups. I see something more satisfying emotionally. I see something long lasting. Okay, Queen of Cups. Now this could be an indication could be a water sign coming into your life, a Cancer, Scorpio, or a Pisces. Could also be a Capricorn, a Taurus, or a Virgo. Now, you got the Eight of Pentacles and you have the Hermit. I feel like a lot of you may be really thinking about this, you know, thinking about the potential here. Uh, again, I'm getting another uh, energy here of you really feeling something in your gut is telling you I feel to let something that is really heavy go is what I get because it does feel like there was something lacking something lacking you weren't getting what you need and that was part of the heartbreak is the energy that I'm feeling here so I feel like a lot of you may be letting go of something and realizing that you just weren't getting what you needed, okay? And I feel like there's something else new here that's manifesting. But let's keep going. You know, uh, sometimes spirit throws me some curveballs and we'll see what the energy shows. Thank you, spirit and angels, for your guidance. What other messages do you have here? What else do we need to know? All right. get one more okay cards are being a little bit unruly let's get one more there we go okay oh wow look at that yeah we got a counterpart here we have a king and a queen of cups but let's see what else the energy is showing here yep i i said it i said it look at this I feel like spirit, okay, the message for today that I'm getting, there is, I feel like you're at that crossroads. You're making a decision here. I feel something in your gut, your intuition is telling you that there may be something better, something long lasting, something secure. And look what comes along. We have the nine of cups, the sun card, and we have the ace of wands i feel like what spirit is telling you that if you've been struggling right you've been struggling about a past situation that was very hard very hurtful some of you i feel like too could even be divorce could be um you know an ex here right i feel like there's a struggle okay when it comes to the long term with that other situation i feel like you know it's like you carried the weight you carried that weight on your shoulders. You carried the burden of this connection on your soul, on your shoulders. And I feel like you've had a hard time moving on. So spirit is trying to show you with the nine of cups, the ace of wands and the sun card, there is happiness. There is something more happy ahead. I feel that is coming towards you here. Okay. Now, Here's the decision, the two of wands. Do I stay here because I feel safe, I feel comfortable, or do I take that, do I take that risk, that leap of faith towards a new path, all right? I can change my, you know, I, I can't change fate, right? We meet people for a reason in our life, but what I can change is, is change my decision. I, ch I choose to let somebody go. I don't know if you saw somebody, uh, the post. I don't know why I'm tongue tied. But if you saw the post I did the other day, it said something about, right? Fate brings people in our life, but we are the ones to decide whether we want that person in our life, whether we want to let go of that person, right? Or whether we want to hold on to that person. And I feel like you're in that place right now. 
right? Trying to make some sort of decision. So I feel like a lot of you are making the decision here. Your intuition is telling you to let go of a certain person here. So I want to know more about this new opportunity coming in for you. In a minute, I'm going to use this deck because that deck will tell me some timing too and also uh, some other important information. But what else can you share here? What is this, what can you tell, say about this new opportunity? Okay, got the Nine of Wands. I think we got enough cards there. All right. Yeah, look at that. The Nine of Wands, they're telling you don't give up. Okay, don't give up. You've been through a lot, like I said here. Something very difficult, or some of you, it, it's a, a divorce or a separation. But they're telling you don't give up because there is happiness here with the Nine of Cups. You may not feel content at the moment, but look at this. We have the Ace of Wands with the Page of Pentacles. There's somebody new coming into your life. Again, I'm picking up um, Capricorn, Taurus, or Virgo energy. This is someone I feel coming towards you. Um, I'm going to say timing. We'll see what the timing says when I pull more cards. But this is between now and one month's time is what I'm picking up there. Now, you have here an emperor, okay, with the sun card. This is what you're manifesting. I feel like you're manifesting. Remember I said here, well, maybe I'm better off here, independent, doing my own thing, maybe focusing on my money and my career. And look, here comes an emperor. It's not about male or female. It's about the energy. Could be an Aries or a Leo is what I am get there. But this is someone I feel who is going to be very attracted to your energy. And they're not just attracted to your physical appearance. I feel like they're going to be attracted to you as a whole person, as somebody who they see very accomplished or you take really good care of yourself. But there's a lot of potential with this person. And the emperor is also telling me that this is somebody who is in a place in their life, they want to do the right thing. They want to do it right. They want a relationship. This is someone who possibly will even want marriage or children. And then look, look at this. You have the wheel of fortune here, okay? And you got the two of wands. You have the free will and choice to make this decision, to move towards something I feel here that's going to be long lasting and emotionally fulfilling for you. I feel like that's what Spirit's trying to show you, to look ahead and think about the possibilities because they're telling you that there is a love offer that is coming in for you. Okay, you just may not be able to see it at this moment. So let's uh, pull uh, some cards here. I just want to see, um, like I said, there's some important information in these cards. What else do we need to know? Please share. What else do we need to know? All right. Whew. The car flew. Let's get one more. All right, there it is. Wow. Okay. You, what this is saying here. All right. Some of you, I'm going to say, this is a no card. Okay. This is telling me that some of you are telling you, telling, oh gosh, I don't know why I, some of you may be going through anxiety. I just feel like I can't get the words out. Let me just take a breath here. All right. I feel like there are some of you out there, maybe a lot of you out there that are telling yourself no, like you don't want to give up on this situation or you've been having a hard time letting go, okay? You've been in an energy here of conflict, okay? I feel that conflict is because of this Five of Swords energy, whatever happened in the situation, okay? It was a situation where you feel like you were not the winner of the situation. You didn't get what you want. The other person did is how you may be feeling, right? Or they were ruthless about it. And I feel like what they're saying here, if you stay in this energy, it's also, I, I'm also hearing an energy here of resentment, okay? Resentment or wanting some sort of conflict to be resolved. Right now in this energy, you got an N for no, which tells me you're not getting anywhere. That's what Spirit's trying to show you. They want you to take that risk, that leap of faith towards something new. 
They want you to not question it and have the strength to move forward, right? Because you got a why here. You got two yeses here. They're telling you if you can do that, there's something long lasting. Look at that. You got the 10 of coin again. They're telling you if you can move forward, right? You have the strength to do that. Look at look what's upcoming for you. The 10 of pentacles. Something's long lasting. And I almost feel here when this card came out, when the wheel of fortune came out, I feel like they were saying, if you can make the decision to do this, it's almost like you're changing destiny, right? Because of free will and choice. The only thing that changes energy is when you make a decision and you change that energy, right? You change the energy because in the current moment, if you stay in this energy of of conflict, you're going to stay in conflict, right? But if you make the decision to take yourself on a new path, it's almost like you're changing destiny here. And this may be part of, right, the karma, the life lesson here that, um, you know, you are going through. Now, I feel like um, for a lot of you in the summer months or the warmer months of the year is when something happened between you and this person. That's what that card is telling me. Um, you do have here the Ten of Coin, which this is fall going into winter, okay? So I feel like a lot of you, if you can make this decision to let something go of the past, and some of you, it may not that you want to be with an ex here, but it may just be like you're, you're still holding on to the disappointment, the struggle, the hurt, whatever the case may be. And, and I didn't even show you here on the bottom of the deck here, you have the five of cu cups. This is haunting loss. I feel like whatever disappointment happened in the past, it still haunts you. You still think about it. You still feel disappointed. And I feel like what spirit is leading you towards is this new found clarity. This is a fresh start. Um, and look, this is a yes card here. All right. So if you have a question here, okay, this could be an indication that it is a yes. Also, I'm picking up fall energy here again. Okay. And we're in the fall right now. So I'm going to pull some more cards here. What else can you tell the collective here about uh, who's coming towards them? All right. If they make the, if you make the decision, right, to move towards a new path, I feel there's a love offer here. Look at that, the sun card. Yeah, okay. So you got temperance here. This is about patience and about balance. They're telling you it's going to be worth it, okay? It's going to be worth it for you to take your time, right, towards something new here, okay? Now, you have the king of swords. Now, this is telling you, um, this is telling you to detach emotionally that could be this conflict here something may be triggering you that haunting loss that i talked about we also have here the sun card okay now this is a yes card and this is telling you that there is some sort there is a new person coming into your life that is secure all right Somebody that is secure, again, I'm picking up um, an earth sign. I'm picking up earth, water, or air energy. Uh, could be an Aquarius, a Libra, or a Gemini. I feel like, okay, we're, we're almost in winter, but fall to winter. And then um, this could be somebody I feel that there's a lot of potential here. You got the sun card twice. Okay, there's an offer. This could be somebody who drives a red car. Definitely somebody reliable, does well financially. It's King of Pentacles energy. I feel like they're telling you, right, to find your balance, nine of wands, okay? Withstanding adversity here, okay? Because there is a new opportunity. That's what Spirit's trying to show you here. That's what's changing with the World card. And again, we got yes, we got yes, okay? Now, is if you're questioning yourself whether you should move on right or there's some other question you got a lot of yeses here got another yes here but look at this you got the eight of cups which is the only card i didn't go over yet this is a no this is stagnant routine so this is telling me that this person in the past may not be the person for you you got a no there all right but it's going to be your free will and choice so let's see what else uh 
the collective wants to tell you. What does is, what is spirit want to tell the collective? Thank you, spirit and angels, for your guidance. What other messages do you have here for the collective in love? Yeah, look at that. Got romantic feelings. You can see. Past relationship. Forgiving and learning. Yeah. There's a past relationship I feel here that you're being guided to let go, to forgive and learn from it because I feel here you got deception. Now, two things I get with this card. One, definitely feels like this could be somebody you felt deceived from, right? They may have lied. They may have cheated. They may have done something. That's what I feel like you need to let go. You need to heal from. Others, I feel like this is about you being true and honest with yourself, okay, about a situation I feel where there is probably little or no contact with this person. And you have to trust and have faith and know that you deserve love. Because look, there is somebody coming in. This is a romantic opportunity. Someone who's going to be quite attracted to you. And remember, I said that earlier. There is a new person coming in your in your life. But I feel like Spirit's trying to show you that you have to make that decision to move towards something new. And that's going to be, right, maybe putting yourself out there, changing your mindset, forgiving and learning and moving on from a past situation. Let's see what else comes out here. Okay, yeah. Keep an open mind that your soulmate may be different than your usual type and expectations, all right? You also have your codependency. I feel like you may be holding on to maybe a specific type of person or the fact, right, that somebody here from your past, okay, you felt rejected or the love was unrequited. And I said this earlier, it's worth waiting for. Okay, it's worth waiting for the right person to come into your life. And I feel like that person is coming into your life. They just haven't shown up because I feel like completely your mindset is not in completely in that new direction. All right. I'm going to pull um, some final messages here. Thank you, Spirit. What else can you share with the collective? I just want to make it clear here. There is a new love coming in for you, but I feel like Spirit's saying, right, you have to make it happen. Not that you're going to go out and find somebody, but you have to manifest it. You have to have the intention. I'm looking for a new love. I'm letting the past go. All right? And look at this. You have luck. You are right to be strong and optimistic about the opportunities ahead. I feel like Spirit's saying, luck is on your side and the opportunities will come in for you. You just have to believe it. You have plain. A journey is indicated either physically or metaphorically. Your life will become more full. It's almost like, right, you're getting ready for that takeoff, right? You got to take off, right, to the next to the next level here. You're ascending to a higher level is what I'm feeling with this energy by moving forward. And then you also have here angel, okay? Your angels are guiding and protecting you on your spiritual journey. This is part of your journey. And bottom of the deck here, you have the full card. Oh my gosh, look at this. You have the full and you have the sun card. Have the courage to embrace change. Take risks and be adventurous, right? Taking that leap of faith towards a new, um, I feel, a new journey here, okay, a new journey with someone, there's a new, there's a new person coming into your life, but you have to believe it, and you have to take the action to manifest it, it's the sun card, open your heart to the enormous growth ahead, some of you are very guarded right now, some of you are still holding on to a hurt, and it's blocking your heart chakra, and I feel like Spirit's saying, you know, open your heart, open your heart to these opportunities, to other people who would love to meet you. And look at the next card is abundance and birth. This is a rebirth for you, right? A rebirth. There's a lot of abundance coming in your life. And I feel like you just maybe can't see it at this time. And look, celebrations. I'm going to read celebrations. It says you are ready to bring new and exciting things into your life. The universe brings you opportunity and possibility. And lucky times are ahead of you, along with good news, success, and prosperity. So beautiful energy here. 
Uh, you can do it. I hope you enjoyed this reading. I hope you all have a wonderful rest of the day or evening and I'm sending you angel love.